How's it going, folks? I got an album thoughts video here for y'all today. I'm gonna be talking about the the new album from Johnny Limatainen. The name of the album is My Father's Son. And you know, before I get into that nitty gritty, you know, I like to check out the cover. So boom, there it is. Check it out. You know, I do like this cover. It, it's visually a appealing. Uh, you know, it looks really cool. I like the, the stylized uh, text of, of his name and the way it just says my father's son down there uh, in the bottom right. And it just looks cool. You know, it's, it's like a, a smattering of, of different colors, mostly dark reds and browns, um, you know, some, some grays, but and, and like just, yeah, it's just really interesting colors. And you got this dude that's falling upside down. He's got like one wing, almost like he's an angel. You know, he's falling from grace or something. Um, he's got like a, a torch uh, that's falling out of his hand. It just looks really, really cool. And it kind of gives the impression that, um, you know, maybe somebody falling from grace, somebody that, you know, you, you hold on a pedestal and then perhaps when you get older or, or something happens and you, you see this person for who they really are, you know, they, they fall off the pedestal. I, you know, I know we've all been there. You know, you, you look up to people and stuff and, and, you know, everybody's human. Nobody is perfect. And sometimes, you know, in your eyes, especially if you're younger, uh, somebody may appear one way. And then as you get older or whatnot, you see them in a different light or, or anything, or, or they do something that ends up, you know, kind of ruining your image of them. So it, it kind of gives that kind of a vibe. Um, so, you know, from that perspective, I really, really like this cover. I think it looks really, really cool. It's eye catching. As far as, you know, I like to talk about if it gives the impression, you know, if you're just flipping through the CDs at the CD shop or a record shop or whatnot and you see this cover, what music do you think it would be? You know, this one's a little tricky. You know, I, I think if, if you see that, it really has a, definitely a metal vibe, but I, I think because of the colors, really, and, and the, the way it looks, I, I definitely think it, it, if you had no prior knowledge, I, I think it would give off the vibes of a heavier metal style than it really is so I'm kind of iffy on that it's difficult to say you know personally if without knowing any knowledge or anything if just looking at that and, and trying to guess what the music would be I think I would probably believe it would be some kind of maybe death metal or metalcore or something like that something heavier than what is really on here so you know, I, it's a tough one, though, for me, because I love the cover, and, and it does suit the music, in a sense, once you listen to the album, so I will give it that, but just on first impressions, I think somebody might think it's a different style than it really is, so, you know, eh, what can I say? I, I still love the, the cover, though, so, you know, there's that, but anywho, en enough on that. This bad boy's 10 songs comes in at about 58 minutes and you know this is a, it's a tricky one to pin down as far as genre or style ultimately i think i would go with melodic metal because there is some power metal um, styles there is some like melodic rock styles uh you, you get a, a, a different array sort of uh, of styles throughout so i think you know if i had to sum it up into one i would say melodic metal is really what you're getting don't go into this thinking you're getting some full-on power metal or anything like that because it's not there's elements there but um there's various elements throughout and you know i don't think he was trying to make it in a certain genre i, I think he, you know, he was just doing what, what he felt. And that's one thing I will say about this album is it, it's got a, a certain style to it. It's got a certain feel to it. it you know, there's a lot of emotion in here and, and you can tell there's, there's, even though every song is, is quite different, 
and there's a good variety of styles and, and sounds on here, but there's an overarching theme in the music and, and the feel that, that is woven all throughout the tracks from beginning to end, in my opinion, and it's, it's got to be this emotion. I think that, you know, this definitely you can tell is a passion project and uh, there's just that, that uh, uh, emotional feeling that, that is just kind of woven woven throughout this, this whole album and that kind of ties it all together. So I really appreciated that. It, it, it adds something extra uh, to the sound and to the album because, you know, you really feel like, you know, you're feeling how he felt when writing these songs and, and you, you feel like this is something important to him and then it, it makes it important to you as well and so it's just this unique sound that's in there and it's really hard to explain uh, but but it's there and if you listen to the album you'll, you'll know what I mean and um, yeah just just packed with emotion and I'm not saying like the songs are just really emotional like oh wow this is just such an emotional song it's just all, all throughout in, in the background almost but it again it ties everything together so I really really appreciated that and to talk about some of the songs um, you know again there's there's a good variety here and I, I really like this album I really did and, and I know a lot of folks are gonna be saying oh well I know you did those two reaction videos to the two singles um, uh, what were they um, all Dreams Are Born to Die and uh, Into the Fray. And you'll be like, but, but now you're saying you really enjoy this album, but you were like, you know, iffy on those, saying they're standard fair and whatnot. This is a tricky one here because I, I honestly feel this is a scenario where I, I wouldn't even know if I was asked to choose uh, what's what songs from this album should be the singles honestly I wouldn't know I, I wouldn't know it's a very difficult album I think to to take in, in just a piece you know so to to listen to just a single from this album I feel like is a disservice to the album itself because you know each song it taken individually I, I feel like removes the, the impact of, of the whole and so you don't get a, a good idea really of what you're getting on the whole album by taking just one song you know and listening to it so I, I think that was part of it I think I, I I wasn't able to fully get on board because I don't this album to me is not meant to be taken by individual songs you know this album is something that really it should be taken as the whole so when it comes to singles, you know, they did as good a job as I, I, anybody could do by choosing the singles because I really wouldn't know what to pick. You know, this album I, I really think needs to be listened to as the album because I appreciated you know, both of those singles um, much more so in the context of the album than I did individually. And even uh, Into the Fray, the one featuring Timo Cody Pelto, I actually added to a playlist now because it really grew on me and in the context of the album it just it had more of an impact you know all dreams are born to die I'm still like a little on the fence of but I still enjoyed it more so than I did when I listened to it individually but really what you're getting here ultimately is melodic rock with just fantastic guitar work and I'm sure nobody's surprised by that that that's really kind of the the uh, the the heart of, of the album is, is the guitar and just stellar stellar riffs and and, and uh, solos and just guitar work in general just really phenomenal um, all the vocals there's lots of guests on here there's Bjorn Speed Strid um, folks will know most recently from Night Flight Orchestra Tony Kako of course from Sonata Arctica Timo Cody Pelto of Stradivarius um, and, and several others, and, and oh, one of my favorite songs, actually, um, track five, Side by Side, is like a melodic rock AOR style uh, song that it sounds different than any other song on the album, and it's featuring none other 
than uh, Pekka Haino of Brother Fire Tribe. I'm a huge fan of his and, and Brother Fire Tribe, and this song is very Brother Fire Tribe-ish, and it's a lot of fun. So it, it's just really, really cool. So, you know, all the vocals are stellar, of course, all the guests, it's, it's fun to hear them all. And again, the guitar work is really the, the backbone, the heart of the, the album, but you also get some great keyboard work here, um, some great kind of symphonic elements at times, kind of in the background, just really adding to the sound. All of the songs feel really full and complete, you know, nothing feels empty or anything. You get great melodies on here, great uh, uh, choruses, catchy, um, great hooks. You know, it, it's just a, a very pleasing album to listen to, uh, again, from start to finish. It's got its ups and downs as far as emotions and, and speed and, um, you know, the, the more melodic and, and, you know, a little heavier and, you know, a little quicker tempo, a little slower tempo. You know, you can't, it, it runs the gamut of, of everything. Um, so, yeah, if I had to really sum it up, it's just melodic metal with varying... Um, styles of metal, nothing real heavy, just power, a little progressive at times, um, melodic rock kind of woven into that melodic metal, so it's just really just a melodic album. And uh, it really, really picks up. Tracks one through three are, are good, uh, but it, to me, the album really, really takes off once it hits track four, which is Who Are We, which is the, the second song featuring Tony. Uh, Timo Cody Pelto on this album. Oh man, one of my favorites on this bad boy. It, it is just epic. It, it's got a little bit of that kind of Stradivarius feel, not just because it's Timo, but just the style of the song. The first half is very ballad like, and then it, it, it gets kind of grand. It, it kind of takes off a little bit. Um, and, and it's just such a great song. And then track five, side by side, that melodic rock AOR one with the Brother Fire Tribe vocalist. Um, and, uh, you know, you get a lot of good variety there. And then another one of my favorite songs, I was, I'm obsessed with this song, honestly. It went straight into a playlist. Track 8, I Could Stop Now, and it's featuring Annette Olsen. And her vocals she lends here are just absolutely beautiful and phenomenal. And, and this song is, is like, an, it's like acoustic and almost in the style of like... Um, um, like almost like a, a Mumford and Sons or like almost like, a, you know, like an acoustic folk kind of thing, like a Steven Seagulls uh, band, that, you know, something similar to that. And it's just fantastic. I love it. Um, and again, her, her vocals on here are just fantastic, you know, so that just goes to show you. I mean, I, I just described so many different types just right there of, of songs on this album. And so, I, you know, I feel like he... Uh, Johnny Limatine did not set out to make a specific record. He, he just set out to uh, pour his heart and soul into an album and into the music, and, and, and what came out came out. And, and you know, it you, you can tell, you can feel it. And um, and then it, it closes out real strong with track ten, my father's sons, like eleven and a half minutes, and it's just a very probably the most emotionally packed song I would say on the album. But um, yeah, and, and like I said, some great piano keyboard work on here. So that's really what I got for you. Um, it, it, I, I do highly recommend this album. Very enjoyable. You know, it's not mind blowing, but it, it is very enjoyable. Uh, so I, I do, I do highly recommend it. And you know how I like to do, I tell you a song to listen to. If you're just going to give it one song um, to determine if, if you want to hear the whole album or not. I'm sorry, folks. I, I just can't do that on this one because, as I stated before, it's too difficult. It's too difficult. And if you listen to the album, you, you'll understand uh, what I mean. It, so I, I would just say, if you liked any of the singles, and they, they released a, th a third single as well, uh, which is track one, Breathing Divinity, with uh, Bjorn Speed Strid, so check out any three of the singles, and if you like them at all, even just a little bit, or they intrigue you a little bit, I'd say listen to the whole album. If you don't like any of the singles, I can still safely say there's probably something here that you will like. You obviously won't like the whole album, but 
there will be some stuff that you'll like um, if you like melodic metal in general. But uh, if you like any of the singles at all, um, I do think you'll enjoy this album. It is a good time. Um, and again, it, it just, uh, you can feel the passion in it. And um, yeah, it, it, quite enjoyable. So I, I definitely say it's a solid album. I do recommend it, and I did enjoy it. So that's what I got for y'all. Let me know in the comments down below if you've listened to this already, and, and what are your thoughts? Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Um, yeah, let's talk about it, and I'll catch y'all later. Ranger, out.